For students that need extra support in determining dominance, I navigate with them to the web lab. We click on sections and then scroll over to pedigree. To determine dominance, I first need to figure out which plants are homozygous by crossing them with themselves. I am looking for plants who produce only one type of phenotype in the offspring. I cross. Okay. Plant 1 produces only that type of phenotype. Plant 2 produces two different types of phenotypes. Plant 3 produces only one type of phenotype. Plant 4 produces only one type of phenotype. My candidates are then plant 1 and 3. I cross them looking exactly for this, one type of phenotype in the offspring. This tells me that purple flower is dominant since the recessive is totally masked in the offspring. So I check. Right, the purple color is dominant. I review the procedure again with the students for the P-shaped trait. One, figure out which ones are homozygous by crossing them with each other. Plant 1, Plant 2, Plant 3, Plant 4. Decide which ones I'm going to cross, in this case Plant 1 and 2. And this, this tells me that round P is the dominant trait. Go to the notepad. P shape would be round. Check. Correct. For the sake of argument, I might also choose to cross the wrinkled P, the homozygous wrinkled P, with the heterozygous round P and show that the results would not be co conclusive.